coincidentally two of our really good friends um, are also staying here for Christmas because they just didn't want to deal with like the Christmas travel and so we're gonna like see them on Christmas Eve and we're gonna like do a dinner and make food and like play games and like we're doing like a, a secret Santa with each other for like $50 um, where we like drew names out of a hat and we're like getting each other little gifts so like it'll be fun so I'm looking forward to that and then on Christmas day we're actually gonna go skiing <laughs> because we're like when are we ever gonna go skiing on Christmas like normally we go see family or we'll have family come here and see us so like normally we're never gonna be like going skiing on Christmas day so we were like we might as well do it now this year since we're like not going anywhere and not like seeing anyone so that will be really fun to go skiing on Christmas to go skiing on Christmas to go skiing on
we know he can hold it, we know that he would be okay, we just feel bad, like, leaving him for that long. He also is, like, kind of a COVID dog because we got him, like, after we moved to Colorado and we were both working from home full time, so, like, he's only ever known us being work from home, so we're, like, home all the time, so, like, the only time we ever leave him is if we, like, go out for drinks or dinner, like, he never has been just, like, left during the work day. However, now, if me and my husband, me and my husband have to go into the office, then he is going to have to get used to that, because then we're going to have to leave him for a work day. So, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but... Do you hear that? That's him. <laughs> he was in the room with me, like, when I filmed the last video, and then he was getting so restless. He was, like, getting up, like, walking around, and then he wanted to leave. So I let him out of this room. But clearly he misses it now because he just laid down outside the door. <laughs> I just heard his little plop. His little plop. But yeah, so I don't know. What else? I'm trying to think of off, like what else is new. I don't know, I've just been trying to film more videos for my channel because for a while, like, because of all the wedding stuff, I was just, like, really, really busy and really stressed, and so there was a stretch of time where I was only getting out, like, one video a week, and, like, honestly, I was impressed with myself that I even, like, was able to pull that off because there were some weeks and months this year where I was, like, when am I gonna film? Literally, when? Because I was so busy. Um, but it was very important to me that I not miss a week, and I didn't, so I'm very proud of myself and my channel for that, because I have posted at least once a week, every single week since I started. I don't think I've ever missed a week, but now I'm trying to do, like, two videos per week, because I just, like, love doing it, and I just want to be able to create more videos. So, I've been trying to really, like, prioritize and make sure I'm, like, making time for filming. But then, of course, like, some videos take a lot of effort because if there's, like, I don't know, obviously, like, a role play, but even just, like, if I have an idea, like, a concept for a video and there's, like, props and, like, sometimes I, like, will write stuff out or, like, I'll think of the different sections of the video I want to do. Like, sometimes some videos are kind of, like, planned ahead or they just, like, require more preparation. So, sometimes it can kind of, um, it just, like, takes a long time and, like, takes a lot of energy and effort and then I have to, like, set up this whole filming area because I have, like, two panel lights in front of me and then normally I use a camera, but now, right now, I'm just using my iPhone. But, and then, like, obviously I have my mic and then I, like, have my mic hooked up to my laptop and that's how I, like, record the sound. And then I have, like, my little sunset lamp and like, I work at this desk, like, this is my work desk, so I have to, like, flip it when I film, so it takes kind of a lot of, like, time and energy, because I set up and break down my whole setup every time I film, I don't just, like, leave stuff 
because I was like scrolling too much and I was just like really craving some purpose and like a hobby and I love watching ASMR and it really like changed my life like it genuinely like has made a huge impact on my own anxiety and sleep issues so it just felt like a really positive cool thing that I could do and it's like you know I can get creative with it I can like I don't know so I never was in it for the subscribers but I will admit now that I've had my channel for a year sometimes I fall into that like mindset and I fall into that thinking where I'll be like comparing my my channel to other channels or I'll be like comparing myself to others or I'll get kind of sad that I like don't have more subscribers because I'm like I feel like my videos are good and I feel like I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into them and like I'll get comments on some of them of like how good it was and how like I don't know it helped people sleep or whatever so then I'm like why don't I have more subscribers like I have a good microphone, I have a good camera, like, I make pretty good videos, I think, and then I'll look, and, like, sometimes there'll be, like, a channel that is way newer than my channel, like, they just started, and they already have, like, 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers, and I'm like, what the heck, I've had mine for a year, and, like, I don't even have 2,000 subscribers, but... I don't want that to like come across as ungrateful because I am genuinely grateful for every single subscriber I have but I'm just like being honest and vulnerable of like sometimes I fall into that like train of thought where I'm like kind of upset about my lack of subscribers but then again I have times where I'm like I literally don't care like I love my subscribers like I just love making videos I love just like having my channel and it doesn't matter like I, I shouldn't compare myself to other people and also that whole thing of like the internet makes you think that like 2,000 isn't a lot but if there was like an auditorium full of 2,000 people that like came to watch me or like listen to me like that is insane that's so many people so I don't know I like swing back and forth but I really really try to not let myself get too far down that negative path because that's just like not healthy for me and it's not good for me like I need to like I always try to reground myself and recenter myself with like okay why did you start the channel what do you actually care about like does that matter does subscribers matter does making it big matter and then I'm like okay you know what no it doesn't that's not why I started this I started this to have a productive healthy good hobby that is fun and creative and can help others so at the end of the day even if I just only ever have however many subscribers I have now like 1,500 or 2,000 or whatever even if I never have more than that I should be okay with that and I should still like love it and do it just because I want to you know what I mean so I don't know that is something that I have been like kind of battling with lately and I'm, I kind of always go back and forth with um but yeah but I am immensely, immensely, immensely grateful for every single subscriber and like every time any of you like comment on my videos it makes me so happy it's like so fun to me and yeah I just like love the ASMR community um some of the other like channels that I just love and like other ASM artists that are just so awesome like it's so fun to like talk with them and like watch their videos and comment on each other's videos and yeah it's just like a really positive place for me so that's why I I try to keep it positive in my own brain and like not let myself get negative you know 